At very turning of history, God raises great saints in order to strengthen the supernatural hold over souls exercised by the church in virtue of her divine mission. The Roman Empire had crumbled down and the barbarian has invaded whole Europe, then appeared Benedict as chief of the monks of the West. Saint Benedict, the twin brothers of Saint Scholastica, was born in central Italy, about the year 480, when the civilized world was being overrun by pagan and heretical tribes. As a young man, he withdrew to the mountainous region of Subiaco to live there as a hermit. Soon, many disciples followed him. Later, Saint Benedict left Subiaco for Monte Cassino and founded on its summit a monastery that became the most famous in Europe. After having rescued Europe from the darkness and ignorance that followed the downfall of the Roman Empire, Saint Benedict's monks went out into the whole world to combat paganism with the light of Christ. They were the great civilizers, and their influence upon subsequent history is incalculable. Even more importantly, the spirituality of Western Christianity has been shaped by the famous rule Benedict devised for his monks. With this rule he provided a school of the Lord's service which embraced a program of liturgical prayer, sacred study and work, lived socially in community under one common father, with noticeable emphasis on peace, moderation, especially as regards austerities and charity towards all men. Let's delve into some of the remarkable miracles attributed to Saint Benedict. These extraordinary events provide a glimpse into the saint's profound spirituality and his divine connection. One of the most renowned miracles of Saint Benedict is the miracle of the broken sieve. As the story goes, his nurse accidentally broke a sieve while they were visiting a wheat threshing floor. Saint Benedict, then a young boy, prayed fervently, and the sieve miraculously mended itself, leaving no trace of the fracture. This incident was a significant revelation of his divine calling. Then there's the miracle of the poisoned wine. When a group of monks not pleased with Saint Benedict's strict monastic rules attempted to poison him, the saint made the sign of the cross over the wine jug, which instantly shattered, thus saving his life. This miracle is a testament to Saint Benedict's deep faith and the power of his prayer. The miracle of the raven is another fascinating tale. Saint Benedict would share his bread with a raven that visited him daily. One day he received a loaf of bread that he perceived was poisoned. He instructed the raven to take it and leave it in a place where no one could find it. The obedient raven flew away with the loaf and returned after disposing of it, saving Saint Benedict from potential harm. This miracle highlights the saint's ability to communicate with God's creatures and his divine foresight. These miracles among many others played a crucial role in Saint Benedict's journey towards sainthood. They demonstrated his profound faith, his divine connection and his extraordinary spiritual abilities. Each miracle added a layer to his legend and strengthened the faith of those around him. These miracles not only cemented Saint Benedict's place in history but also led to the creation of the Saint Benedict Medal. This medal is a symbol of protection against evil, a testament to the power of Saint Benedict's prayer, and a celebration of his extraordinary life and miracles. This highly indulgenced medal bears a likeness of the great father of the monastic life. In his right hand is a cross, beside which are the words Crux Patris Benedicti, which mean, the cross of the Father Benedict. In his left hand is the Book of the Benedictine Rule. At his feet are represented a chalice and a raven, symbols of the priesthood and of hermit life. Around the edge are the words, Eius in obitu nostro presentia muniamor, which mean, at our death may we be fortified by his presence. On the reverse side is a cross, on the vertical bar of which are the initial letters of the words, Crux Sacra Sit Mihi Lux, which mean, the Holy Cross be my light. On the horizontal bar are the initials of non draco sit mihi dux, which mean, let not the dragon be my guide, and around are other letters signifying other Latin mottos. At the top is usually the word pax, which mean, peace, or the monogram, IHS. The Benedictine medal in its present form commemorates the 1400th anniversary of the birth of Saint Benedict, celebrated in 1880. The right to make it is reserved exclusively to the great Archibay of Monte Cassino in Italy. There are many indulgences for the wearers including a plenary one on All Souls Day, obtained by visiting a church on that day or on its eve, and praying there for the intention of the Holy Father. The original medal of Saint Benedict was first approved by Benedict XIV in 1741, and further indulgences were granted by Pius the Scyth in 1877, and by Saint Pius the X in 1907. It may be worn about the neck, attached to the scapular or the rosary, or otherwise carried devoutly about one's person. 
For the sick it can be placed on wounds, dipped in medicine or in water which is given to them to drink. The St. Benedict medals and tokens are frequently put into the foundation of houses or in walls, hung over doors, or fastened on stables and barns to call down God's protection and blessing. It is also buried in fields, as the saintly Father Paul of Maul advised his friends to do. Blessing ritual of the St. Benedict medal includes the exorcism formula. Catholics should seek the traditional Catholic priest who will humbly pray to God for all the blessings. The very wearing and use of such metal is considered a continues silent prayer to God, to grant us, through the merits of Saint Benedict, peace, protection, and the favors we request. For obtaining extraordinary favors, it is highly recommended to perform special devotions in honor of the Holy Father Saint Benedict, such as reading and following Saint Benedict rules, attending the most holy sacrifice of the Mass on Saint Benedict feast day, March 21st, and praying novena to Saint Benedict. The Saint Benedict prayer may be said when using the medal for any pious purpose. The prayer is as follows. May the intercession of the blessed patriarch and abbot Benedict, render thee merciful unto us O Lord, that what our own unworthiness cannot obtain, we may receive through his powerful patronage, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Admirable Saint and Doctor of Humility, you practiced what you taught, assiduously praying for God's glory, and lovingly fulfilling all work for God, and the benefit of all human beings. You know the many physical dangers that surround us today often caused or occasioned by human inventions. Guard us against poisoning of the body as well as of mind and soul, and thus be truly a blessed one for us. Amen. Dear Saint Benedict, you are a blessing indeed as your name indicates. Practicing what you preached, you founded the monastic tradition of the West by joining prayer to labor for God in AMP, both liturgical and private prayer. Help all religious to follow their rule and be true to their vocation. May they labor and pray for the world to the greater glory of God. Amen. O glorious Saint Benedict, sublime model of virtue, pure vessel of God's grace, behold me humbly kneeling at your feet. I implore you in your loving kindness to pray for me before the throne of God. To you I have recourse in the dangers that daily surround me. Shield me against my selfishness and my indifference to God and to my neighbor. Inspire me to imitate you in all things. May your blessing be with me always so that I may see and serve Christ in others and work for his kingdom. Graciously obtain for me from God those favors and graces which I need so much in the trials, miseries and afflictions of life. Your heart was always full of love, compassion and mercy toward those who were afflicted or troubled in any way. You never dismissed without consolation and assistance anyone who had recourse to you. I therefore invoke your powerful intercession, confident in the hope that you will hear my prayers and obtain for me the special grace and favor I earnestly implore. Mention your favor. Help me, great Saint Benedict, to live and die as a faithful child of God, to run in the sweetness of his loving will, and to attain the eternal happiness of heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.